in the four years that you've dated, I've seen you develop that relationship into the most beautiful form of what it could be between each other. But unfortunately in life, every relationship runs its course. And when it comes to dating someone that's dealing with ideation, green, um, it is not, and it should never be your responsibility to be the entire bearer right. of that trauma and what's going on, Uno, and how bad things have gotten. That's not your responsibility. It's your responsibility to be there for them as much as you can, but Uno, you're also supposed to continue to build community and hopefully that person has community around them and what they're going through because those are two right. separate things. Mental Health Monday. 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 Having to birth your child knowing mm -hmm. that they don't get to come home with you. Okay. I'm not going to say how so. My mom went through that. So I'm very aware of that pain or what that looks like in the long haul. Do you think, does the world make space for mothers? <laughs> no, <laughs> not so? at all. How so? Um, when, when you're talking mm -hmm. about children mm -hmm. no one talks about what that means for you mm -hmm. right as a woman mm -hmm. um what that means about your time what that means Red. about you pouring into yourself mm -hmm. oh wait that's six how long it takes for you to physically heal and i'm just talking physically heal from mm -hmm. giving birth yeah um, going back to work, mm -hmm. um, what that looks like, especially if you're nursing, mm -hmm. um, the support uno, uno out. is there, I should have swapped my hands again. <laughs> <laughs> so I should have done it. I should have done it. <laughs> I see the support trying to be there, mm -hmm. but just like working in a community-based agency, we are doing it on the ground where we need policy change. What's a community-based agency? Um, like an outpatient mental health um, clinic mm -hmm. that's based in the community and you do in-home therapy mm -hmm. or you have um, PRP services with it, which is a um, rehabilitation program that goes into the home. Um, so yeah. Uh, agency based in the community that serves that community. Mm -hmm. Have you ever come across moms who are pregnant but they're dealing with suicidal ideation? No. Okay. So the reason I asked this is last night I got a call. You know, we're shooting this around the time of a, a holiday, an important American holiday. And when I got the call from this friend, I said, hey, man, what's going on? Um, so they called me to let me know that a mutual friend of ours who I know them through who they were dating, that they're no longer going to be together because this person, when they woke up, was in the middle of self-harming themselves. Right. And I said, okay, so what's going on? They said, well, they just got taken to the hospital. Their aunt's with them. And right now they're being, um, they're being submitted into an intake program, right? And I said, okay, so I'm glad you were there for them and you were able to do what you need to do, but how can I help? What's going on with you? And they told me, they're like, how do they feel How do they feel less guilty for the decision that they made because they feel horrible and they feel like they've abandoned that person? I said, how so? They're like, well, you know, in the relationship, when they were doing what they were doing, 
I did everything that I could to be there for them. But I woke up that day and I saw what they were doing and I realized I can't do this anymore. So how do you find time to feel less guilty for not being able to be there for someone that you love? What advice would you have given that person? No. As a therapist or as a friend. So first as a therapist and then second as a friend. And well, those are two separate answers for yeah. you guys. That's why I got to say it that way. As a therapist, I would mm -hmm. explore and process what were their expectations mm -hmm. for being there for them. Mm-hmm. Because in the being there for them, were you expecting your presence and your support to stop the mm -hmm. behavior? Mm -hmm. Or was it just just being there and being supportive regardless of what the outcome was? Yeah. That's very important because a lot of times we have to check our intentions. And so is the guilt associated with you not being able to stop them because that's not your job. You, you can't. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so as a therapist, it would be to explore those things because I think with insight would help with some of the guilt. Mm -hmm. The guilt is going to be there. Yeah. So sitting with that is inevitable and it's going to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But working through that and working through the thought process of how you showed up and like your intentions for showing up is important. Mm -hmm. What I told them was... Um Wait, did you answered both questions, right? I didn't. As a friend, uh -huh. as a friend, I would tell my friend that they did what they had the capacity to do mm -hmm. and that they realized that they no longer had the capacity. And so it's okay to not, ex not hand off someone, but to make sure that they're in the hands that they need to be in like the neighbor yeah yeah and just and just hold space you know if you want to stay here and play take a shot uno we can absolutely do that <laughs> <laughs> or take shots without the uno whichever yeah <laughs> so what i told them was now we're not super close on the friendship spectrum mm -hmm. but if i've ever told you hey Call me if you ever need me and if you have an issue and I'll do the best that I can for you or whatever is going on. Um, I was just, I wasn't baffled by the news. I kind of could see that that was going to be something that was going to happen eventually, unfortunately. But I told them that you dating the person and holding them down for as long as you did that it would really nice it would really behoove you to not acknowledge the work that you've done when you were in that relationship for so long and i asked them i was like you know how long have you guys been dating for and they said we were dating for about yeah. four years good job you and i was like okay cool beans um, in the four years that you've dated, I've seen you develop that relationship into the most beautiful form of what it could be between each other. But unfortunately in life, every relationship runs its course. And when it comes to dating someone that's dealing with uh, suicidal ideation, green, um, it is not and it should never be your responsibility to be the entire bearer right. of that trauma and what's going on, Uno, and how bad things have gotten. That's not your responsibility. It's your responsibility to be there for them as much as you can, but Uno, you're also supposed to continue to build community and hopefully that person has community around them and what they're going through because those are two right. separate things. Um, should I go next? Yes. Now, with that being said, Uno Uno out. Um, 
I feel like I'm cheating with the way this is going right now. I feel I feel that way too. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, you should shuffle, but you told me you're I'm not a, good at shuffling. I'm gonna I... see now because okay. I've been watching you. You haven't been doing like that, you know. No, no, I don't. Type. I don't. I don't have that. I just <laughs> <laughs> I I'll split a deck every now and then. That's that's where I am on things. That's just that's it. I mean, because when I moved yeah. up here, it was. <sighs> You play spades, mm -hmm. you know how to deal. I'm actually not great at spades and I never was raised on playing spades. I like my partner recently taught me how to play spades. Yeah. Say, I've been playing spades on the phone. I'm mm -hmm. not getting on anybody's table because what we don't talk about in our community mm -hmm. is the trauma behind the 